Hey everybody, well I found out why my engine wasn't smoking as much. It turns out you gotta put more smoke fluid in it. So that's what I did. Now she's running a heck of a lot better. <laughs> a lot of smoke too. Man, look at that. That is cool. But uh, I uh, cleaned the wheels on the train, on the steam engine, and then all the train cars, I cleaned them up, oiled the wheels, so now they run smooth and better. Took this engine apart and cleaned it all up where the ground is at. I thought that was causing my issue again, so I redid the ground wire. Now everything runs just fine. It just turns out I had a little bit more smoke fluid. I thought six drops is enough because that's what I usually run in this guy in Pennsylvania and it smokes like a charm but it doesn't last as long. This one however didn't really smoke as much. You put six drops it'll go for a little bit and then it would be done. So I had a little bit more just came up and just squeezy a little bit and just pinched and that was it and now it really really smokes. I'm gonna run around till it gets it all out of the system. And usually what I do is I take that little big eraser kind of way. It's a poor track cleaning I think. Oh boy that's new. The motor is getting too hot. Woo! It's warm. Is it supposed to be warm like that? Oh, that's hot. Ah, that's hot. Hot, 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 hot. Yeah, I'm about to cool down. It's been raining for a while, so. Okay. Of course, I haven't rained it this long before in its lifetime either since I owned it. This was the first time I ran around more longer than. I'm going to say I probably ran around 20 minutes. But I got it to smoke a lot better. And all I had to do was add a little bit more smoke into it. Yeah, tracks are nice and cool. But this puppy, whole, I mean, even up from right here to about right in this area, it's all warm to the touch. It's basically, actually, I have a thermal thing. I'm going to see how hot it is. Okay. This is set to Fahrenheit. Holy cow, 124 degrees. On 14 there. But if I'm on that nut boat part, 125. Off to the side a little bit. Still hot right there. Is it even supposed to be like that? I'm forty two right there. And that's uh Okay, let's see what that would be like in Celsius. About 60 Celsius. So it's almost like my 3D printer. Holy cow. But right up in there, and she gets hot and cold. But right up in here where the black is. Uh, okay, so she's getting hot, really hot right there. I wonder why that is. Hmm, I don't know. I'm going to let it cool down and just not run in as long as I am. I don't know why it gets that, that hot. It, sh it blows my mind. If anybody knows, leave it in the comments because I like to hear everybody else's thoughts, you know, because... I'm still new at this stuff and never really been into it. My dad has, but 
me, I, I just have a train set and I just hardly rearranged it downstairs. So now I'm getting back into it. I'm trying to learn as much as I can. So if anybody knows more about why is it normal for it to get hot like that, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. And I uh, hope everybody enjoys the update. Stay tuned for what's coming next because I got a couple more things I'll be getting for the old skate or old gauge. And then maybe some stuff for my N scale layout later. But the second thing is, most importantly, is I gotta get that thing back up on the road again. Transmission is not happy. Second gear is bye bye. So I'm driving me and my brother's truck. <laughs> So I can drive her, my daughter to school and stuff. So, yep. So I'm saving up to get what I need to get it done. Take it somewhere and get rebuilt. That's going to be fun. Me and my brother can pull the transmission, do all that uh, fun stuff. And then send it to somebody and get it on. Um, a buddy of ours and he's going to rebuild it for us. So, pretty cool. But that's it for right now. Thanks for watching and hopefully everybody has a fantastic Sunday.